5.5.7, trap in the molar attack. <clears throat> e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, c3, knight f6, d4, e takes d4, c takes d4, bishop b4 check, knight c3, knight takes e4, white castles, bishop takes c3, d5, the molar attack. Knight e5, as opposed to knight bishop f6. <clears throat> b takes c3, knight takes c4, queen d4, Knight c d6. Better would have been f5. Queen takes g7. Queen f6. Queen takes f6. Knight takes f6. Rook e1 check. Now the king has uh, two options here, f8 and d8. So first we'll look at f8. So king f8. Bishop h6 check. King g8. Rook e5. Knight f e4. Rook e1. f5. Rook e7 and white's advantage and wins says Nosko Bronowski, and we'll have a go and look at that. Uh, 18th move for black, a5. Knight d4, b5. f3, knight takes c3. Rook g7 check. King f8. Rook takes d7 check. Reveal check. King g8. Rook g7 check. King f8. Rook takes c7 check. King g8. Rook g7 check. King f8. Rook a7 check. King g8. Rook takes a8. White's advantage. So now we are rewinding to White's 14th move, which is Rook e1 check. And now we'll see how it plays out if black decides to go with uh, king to d8. So we have king to d8 followed by bishop g5, knight d e8, rook takes e8 check, king 
king takes e8, rook e1 check, king f8, bishop h6 check, king g8, rook e5, d6, rook g5 checkmate.